Hello friends, welcome to another episode. Today I have for you Steel Dive 1957. This is very, very, very new model. It was released a few weeks ago. And first thing what I have to tell you, when I just got this watch, I was absolutely impressed with the look and with the quality. Uh, for those who watch my channel for a long time, you're probably familiar with Steel Dive brand. And if you know about this brand, then you should have some watches from them and if you have any still die watch then you know that the quality here is exceptional but this one this one really really above all the expectations in my opinion this model is so far so far the best still dive ever made everything looks so good i don't have anything to complain here about Every detail is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Even though I saw some negative comments on Facebook, obviously right now it's obvious to me that those people didn't have this watch yet. They were just just talking too much because I don't see anything anything bad or cheap about this watch. Yeah, so uh, right now you see the price on AliExpress. This is the price without any promotion, any discount. If you want to get cheaper, then maybe wait for some promotion soon. Yeah, and straight to the main specs of this model. We have the case diameter without the crown 42.2 millimeters. With the crown is gonna be 46 millimeters. Yeah, so this watch is not for, for the average wrist. Next, we have the case thickness. 15.7 millimeters so it's pretty thick watch but probably because of the glass the glass here as you can see is a bit curved so it gives extra few millimeters to the thickness lug to lug size or case length is 49.5 millimeters but keep, keep in mind that this is really lug to lug size if we take if you take the to count the breasted links it's gonna be 54 millimeters so 54 millimeters if you wear it with the bracelet it's it's a bit a lot I would say as for me I have 17 centimeters wrist this watch is too big for me unfortunately uh, yeah if you wear it with the rubber strap then it's gonna be 49.5 millimeters which is a bit a bit better for those who have smaller wrists then of course we got here sapphire glass we got here nh 35 movement and i want to show you the details about this crown everything works so so nice i mean the edges of the case everything finished so well it's so easy to open i just i just love it i don't know what to add here i just love it then we got here uh, ceramic bezel 120 clicks as you can see the bezel here is smooth so it's it's really not easy to grab it and move it it's it's fairly tight not too much just the bezel action i would rate 10 out of 10 since there is no back play at all the bezel is pretty tight very clicky very pleasant sound yeah and also it has a uh, green green loom as well as dial and hands you will see a bit later so even though the indicator is here the numbers yellowish color but the loom is green really really green not yellow yeah what else uh, the back of the case the standard case back with 300 meters waterproof by the way um, screw down crown so yeah if you if you never had a steel dive brand yet I uh, just want to tell you that all of their watches are waterproof and you can you can swim dive do whatever you want and it's really really waterproof then we got here the new bracelet as well pretty interesting one I don't want to I know there are some people are gonna say why don't you remove the plastic you do in review but um, I don't keep this watch. It's too big for me. I'm gonna sell it. So I don't want to remove the plastic as well. I want to keep it. Want to keep it new. 
Yeah, so the Brassel here is pretty nice too. They are, uh, wait, how do you call it? The push, push, uh, push pins here, push pins bracelet. Then the clasp micro adjusting system. The new clasp, nothing, the new but old already and nothing new about this clasp. Yeah, so uh, in general, is it worth the price? Absolutely. This watch is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the quality is incredible. The loom is incredible. You will see it a little bit later. I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Yeah, so that's it. Now I'm going to show you the, the loom and the wrist shot in the end. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this watch, go ahead and order it. It's absolutely beautiful. Right now they have only one color. Maybe later they're gonna add more. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, but it makes sense to make more colors since this watch is so good. But again, it's only my opinion. Maybe other people won't like it much. Yeah, I almost forgot to show you the details. So for those who want to take a look closer, here you go. Yeah, but I have to tell you that the case finishing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and the bracelet size, by the way, is 20 millimeters. I forgot to mention this. Here I go, the loom. Yeah, so I have to tell you that the dial indicators, they look much brighter than the bezel insert. I think you can see it in the video as well. Yeah, but I think it's due to the size, of course. But it's beautiful. It's really beautiful, really bright. Not as bright, by the way, not as bright as, for example, uh, Captain Villard 1970. That one is much brighter because I think it has a uh, really green, green loom. This one, yellow color, so the loom is not that strong. So this is how it looks on my 17 centimeter wrist. And it's pretty good, actually. First, I thought that it's too big, but tell me how it looks. I think it's pretty good. Even though the case length is 54 millimeters, including the end link here, but, but it looks good. I don't know why. It really looks good. Yeah, definitely.